Welcome to the fantastic, fabulistic world of Incubus. From the morning view to the road, we're taking you on the bus, backstage and beyond. As we wind down our U.S. tour. Come along as we find the time for a little surfing. Mm. I just want to get wet. And engage in other gentlemanly pursuits. Ooh, it's night bowling! And hang with our family and friends as we roll back into Los Angeles to play for the hometown crowd. What's happening? And then it's off to Las Vegas. I'm losing all my orders. They hit the red carpet and the stage at the Billboard Music Awards. It's a lot of work, but see how we keep it together. Not only as bandmates, but as best friends. Every day, there was a battle. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. What about me? I gotta go through this. My life doesn't suck. I'm not a little punk anymore. Trust me, trust me. No, he got no no key. I can't go out like that. I think that they're making fun of me. Sometimes, I just like to steal. I had no idea it was gonna be such a big deal. It's cool to grow. This is my life. The place you had no idea. This is the diary of Exodus. November 28, 2001. We are coming towards the end of our biggest tour yet, as well as one of our longest ones. We've crammed a lot of things into a very short period of time. Feel sorry for me. I still love what I'm doing and what we're doing as a band. Being on a bus with five people is not a natural situation. No more. Flash for it, dude. Yeah, man love. But, you know, we make it work somehow. One of our strong points is that we have each other to fall back on. I used to be actually like painfully shy. Red that you're like, even girls just come up to me because it makes me feel awkward. Who said that? Spin magazine. No, I'm never feel mad about it. I'm just gonna have to fly. I'm gonna be a little nervous, perhaps. This situation, like our success, if you want to call it that, our, our notoriety has forced me to come out a little bit more because there's a lot of people asking a lot of questions. Where's the green tea, Brennan? I don't drink green tea. Yeah. You have a picture of you with green tea. I'm actually thankful for what's happened now because this situation has taught me how to communicate a little better. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi. All right, wait Thank you. Yep. I think people, when they hear about rock bands, and they think it's all debauchery 24-7. Oh, where are you going? I think we're the antithesis of a rock band. We're just cool, chill guys. We just hang out. We'll throw a gummy bear across the room every now and then, but that's pretty much the extent of it. Brian Smith. <laughs> Brian Smith? Brian Smith. <laughs> He's become like the class clown. Is that on tape? Did he get cold cocked on tape? Yeah. We love having him around. His energy is cool. And it's really interesting what kind of situations he can get us and himself into. Tell, tell, uh, we're going to tell Mikey we're going to shoot him naked. For what? Guitar magazine. You never know what's going to be with that guy. Mikey! Mikey! Mike! Mike! So, this is the deal. We think the best thing to do would be to get naked. OK. Do you think this would work with Britney Spears? Brian got me to get naked. Drop trial, bro. Come on. <laughs> you ain't no pirate. Didn't take too much, actually, because uh, I'm sort of an exhibitionist. Although, you know, I'm not packing that much heat. Hey, check it out, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be comfortable with what you got. Uh, the things we do for rock and roll. Ready? I walk through the crowd a lot. A lot of shirts being sold? We're trying. I recommend the black one with the picture. One of the benefits of being the bass player is not being recognized. I'm going Chuck right there. Ah, you can't go wrong with Chuck. Yeah, Chuck's, Chuck's the man. Kung Fu Chuck. Well, my work here is done. I can go to different extremes to, to meet the crowd without them knowing that they're meeting me. Uh, what if we asked you guys a couple questions about the concert? Sure. Uh, who are you here to see? Thank you, Vince. If you don't mind me saying, it's a somewhat younger crowd. Obviously, you're going to stand out just a little bit. Who's your favorite member? Before we go on stage, I think that the biggest goal is for us to, to keep each other laughing. <laughs> we don't really experience nervousness before we go on stage, but there's like this anxiousness. Like 
like you can't wait to get there. So as a form of getting of distracting you from that, we have found these new and more clever ways to make each other laugh. <laughs> Anytime you're on a college campus and, and we come in and do a show that it's just it's just mayhem. <laughs> November 29th, 2001. When I come to town, which is not very often, it, it tends to be more of an event. <laughs> what we just try and do is, is put as much activity into one evening as possible. Watch it go bowling. Right, ball, go ball, I, I can't really hang out in Hollywood or, or that kind of scene, so I, I prefer my, my bowling alley saloon. I hit a strike every time. Oh my god! Ooh, it's night bowling! Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, love that. That's my sister, I'm not allowed to do that. My friends refuse to allow me to get a fat head about any of this stuff. Jazz clap, jazz clap! which is nice because my head would swell up like a pumpkin. I, I think we're going to the strip club. My philosophy about it is if I'm gonna to go to a bar and have drinks with my friends, I could have naked women or I could not have naked women. Why wouldn't I want naked women? That's basically all it is. It's a, a chance to go uh, have cocktails, shoot pool, and hang out with friends. In, in the words of uh, Cube, today was a good day. Today, I just want to get wet. You think you know, but you have no idea. This is the Diary of Incubus.